It's not just mutation because you got selection going on there too. So you do have um, features that are clearly well designed for the environment. So right over here, we've got these oryxes, right? Beautiful, beautiful creatures and very, very pale colors. The wild range of the oryx is right on the southern end of the Sahara Desert. And so you can see, mm -hmm. yeah, their coloration makes sense. Natural selection, if you get a really dark colored one, that's going to be really easy for predators to find. Um, and so they end up being these really beautiful light colors. Uh, and that's an example of where selection would take a variation and turn it into an adaptation. And that brings us back to the notion that a really exquisite design in the beginning. Oh, I has, think so. Oh, has, absolutely. Mm -hmm, has provided these creatures with the ability to survive and to, uh, to change uh, for their benefit. Absolutely. So the ability to be able to change your coloration like that, to be able to fit an environment, that's got to be built into the system before it starts. As I said, random mutations, they generally don't do anything. So it's hard to imagine how you're going to get a lot of random mutations that are going to actually produce just the right coloration for the environment that you're living in.